And my second question has to do with China. You made an acquisition recently, PetroChina, and I'm curious what you think about China. Well, the second question, we have about, I think about five equity investments in companies that are domiciled and that operate primarily or entirely outside the United States. We don't list all our investments. We listed, I believe, last year all those above $500 million. And we have never had, I think maybe since Guinness some years back, I don't think we've ever had one hit the threshold of reporting in the Berkshire Report, although we've owned some. And the Hong Kong Stock Exchange has just recently changed their requirements so that you have to report 5% of the holding of any company listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. And our PetroChina holdings uh, actually are now, whatever it is, 13%, but they're only 13% of something called the H shares. The Chinese government owns 90% of it, of the company. The H shares own 10%. They sold that to the public a few years back. So we own 13% of a very small percentage. And, and it, it's, it's a kind of a fluke of reporting that we're required to report that particular holding. And like I say, we own four or so others uh, in, in international securities. Uh, we don't make any great judgment about China. You probably know more about China than I do. We simply look at investments around the world and we try to buy into things that we think offer the most value and uh, in there in the, if they're in the United, we, we might prefer slightly that they be in the United States and we might have strong preferences against, or strong biases uh, against certain countries. Uh, we would regard in the United States as number one because we understand the game the best year. We understand the tax laws and all that sort of thing and the corporate cultures and so on. But we would regard a number of other countries as virtually equivalent to the U.S. And there's others that we've been marked down some, and then we'd have a whole bunch we wouldn't go into under any circumstances because we just don't understand them well enough. But, but uh, you know, we think we understand something like the oil business in China uh, reasonably well and at a price relative to what we think the future cash generation is, we would make a decision on something like that. But it's not a big deal. It's a big, it, it became reportable because of this peculiarity of the law where if you own a certain percentage of something that's only 10% of the whole pie, you still have to report it. Uh, uh, the Chinese government is firmly in control of PetroChina. I mean, uh, if we vote with the Chinese government, the two of us will control PetroChina. That's a, <laughs> the, 